Take you down, go loco. Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Made for Love. Let's just absorb some of the music whilst I shuffle the cards and we're gonna get right into our reading. Our reading. All right, guys, I hope that brought good vibes into your home, into your work this morning. It is a great day. We are alive. The people that we love are in a good place, wherever they are. Even if they've passed on, know that they are in a good place. Okay? So, we're going to get into our reading. Today, I am going to try a little experiment. I've changed the um deck for the masculine so if it is that um you normally resonate with me and you don't then it means that this deck will pick up on a different um wave so what i'll do is um probably have uh another segment where i use this deck only twice a week and then i go back to my normal deck and use it twice a week as well so whoever's tuning in with this deck will get the information and whoever was tuning in with my psychic tarot We'll get the information as well this morning guys you have to excuse me usually when i tape in the morning i have great lighting but i'm not getting great lighting today so if you don't see the cards very well i am so sorry i've tried everything that i can <laughs> you know that's why i'm delayed in even bringing this to you but um this is what we have to work with today the only thing i have to tell the queen of fire this morning i needed to tap into your queen of fire energy dfs because you see right now especially with this mercury retrograde where you know masculines are really doing some self-reflection and looking to come back and a lot of people are coming into union especially in march it means then that the negative entities the negative energies that target twin flame unions will be working in overdrive so some of you may be experiencing increased psychic attacks uh, maybe you're just feeling lethargic you're not your usual self you're not energized listen time to raise your vibration and the easiest way to do that is usually through exercise exercise whatever spiritual rituals we have whatever religious rituals we have if you need to go to church you go to temple um, you go to mosque whatever it is you need to raise your vibration and when you are saying your prayers your meditations you're sending good vibes you're filling yourself with good vibes always think about your masculine and include him um, in that Charlotte from Happy Twins, she's working on um, a meditation that is really going to help you um, and instructions for protecting your union. So as soon as she has that release, I'm going to put it in the description because it is very important, especially if your masculine is not fully awake as yet and can't do it for himself. Um, yeah, but that's that's what I want to tell you. You know, we tend to focus a lot on the, on the romance segment of these kind of unions, but remember... You're here for a spiritual purpose, and that's to raise the vibration of the earth. And because there's a lot of positive energy, and this is a shallow download, because there's a lot of positive energy generated by these unions, it is going to come under attack from negative entities. So you might be thinking that, you know, it's a comics, and sometimes they use comics to facilitate these kind of work. 
but sometimes it could be karmic family members it could be their own family members and the negative entities negative forces dark forces um use them to attack the union so it's very important that you always include them under your protection okay yeah i think that's what i want to say um march is queen of fire time it's queen of fire time so get into that and in, in, into that energy march is queen of fire time okay so get into that energy raise your vibration because you need to protect yourself and you protect your union all right so as you know let's get into this so we're going to have a look at the karmic situation right now let's see what's going on i can tell you a lot of heartbreak no love being offered i saw that when i was shuffling the cards all right so when dm thinks about his karmic relationship he thinks about taking his cup and riding off into the sunset because for a lot of these people for a lot of these relationships right now he has already spoken his truth you know the dm has already spoken his truth but the karmic that um feminine energy there she is not letting go without a fight especially if she's someone being controlled by negative entities remember this is a spiritual war this is not about it is about romance because that is how you're going to generate that positive energy but this is a spiritual war so we have the knight of cups here and what he's thinking of is riding off into the fucking sunset with his cup of love he has already spoken his truth, but she's still holding on and she's using whatever she can to hold on. Whether it be the children, whether it be manipulation. You know what I'm getting? I'm getting this, a specific scenario. Um, a comic had um, a, a miscarriage and, and she's using that to keep him there. The guilt over that maybe um she got the miscarriage because of some news she found out about the dm and the df but she's using the miscarriage to keep him there i'm getting that today so that's a specific scenario for someone that's not for everybody at all but there's a that's a specific scenario but whatever they can do that's what they're doing right now so if they have investments that are supposed to be wrapping up right now it's just hell hell roll conflict okay conflict whoa what else is he thinking about okay he's thinking that he's in the cold or the karmic is in the cold and quite frankly um he likes being there <laughs> the dm right now likes being there in the cold okay he is so done he's so done and the thing is i'm really drawn to the physical state of these people um some of these uh, masculines have, have been absolutely de destroyed by this relationship. Some of them even physically. Their physical health has been affected. But definitely their mental health. So I, I think that's why you definitely need to include them under your protection. A lot of them, they're emotionally unbalanced at the moment. Okay? So that's the five of pentacles there. What else? <clears throat> When he thinks about his relationship, he thinks about his high priestess, his DF. <clears throat> he thinks about her and the um, spiritual energy that she generates. The DM knows that the DF is a very spiritual and very much a connected feminine energy. He knows. He also knows that there are secrets that he has kept from her. In fact, these secrets might be one of the things that's keeping him back from coming towards her. He's also thinking about the secrets in his karmic relationship. The secrets that really brought this union to its knees. But as I told you, the karmic is a distorted um, version of the masculine. So if he was a philanderer, trust me, he got his karma. As we see here in Trinidad and Tobago, he get horn. <laughs> right? If he was a liar, trust me, his karmic is a pathological liar. Remember, he has to face himself in the flesh. That's what that's the karmic's job. 
to face to let him face himself in the flesh. All right, so in his heart space, when he thinks about this union, what's what's there? He thinks about taking charge of his life. That is the emperor energy. And in fact, this is what this union has brought forth. His emperor energy. Being that upstanding, mature, emotionally balanced man. Because he wasn't a man before. <clears throat> he was distorted masculine. He had different ideas of what um, manhood should be. Toxic masculinity ideas of what, of what men, a man, a masculine figure should be. But now he's realizing exactly what it means to be a man, to be masculine, to be an exemplar for other men. He realizes he has to take charge of his life. He realizes that he has to learn to love because what he was doing before was not love. He realizes he has to act with integrity and fairness. Yeah, he realizes that he has to tap into his divinity. And he recognizes that there is an eternal love out there which he has to connect with. So he's sitting on his throne. The masculine is sitting on his throne. Never doubt it. He is sitting on his throne. And he's looking at his queen, the DF. He's just waiting for everything to settle down so he can get to her. He is sitting on his throne. Now, let's see. When he thinks of the karmic relationship, there is no choice between two anymore. He knows exactly what he wants. This is a lover's card in reverse. So in his heart, there is no other choice. There is no other... I am torn between two lovers. No. He has made his choice. He knows exactly what he wants. But he knows everything has to be in divine timing. He cannot come to his feminine with any sort of wishy-washy energy anymore. He has to come correct. And if he got, and for him to come correct, he must tie up any loose ends in this karmic relationship. So some of you may have heard that he ended his karmic relationship. Or he may not have told you at all. Because he's waiting for everything to wrap up before he comes forward to meet you. He's wrapping up everything. He's taking charge of the situation. Okay? Let's see what else is here in his heart. What else is in his heart when he thinks about this karmic relationship? Whoa. That came out quick. Alright, let's see what's here. Mm-hmm. He's thinking about why the hell did I get into this? <laughs> this is a three of pentacles. He's thinking about what he built in this relationship. And he's thinking about establishing foundations with someone else. Weirdly enough, I'm drawn to... You know, normally, when I look at this card, and this is a traditional right away, when I look at this card, you know, I usually see a man and a woman, and a woman, she, um, a man, two men and a woman, and the woman I usually see as um, having on, she looks like she has on a kind of hijab, you know, it's like, like a burqa, an equip, but today, it's not a burqa. It, lo it looks like some kind of... Like a gestures outfit. The colors in it. Looks like a gestures outfit. And even the top half looks like um, a hat with a peak. So he recognizes that he was very foolish. He was very foolish to build something with this person. He's asking himself, what the hell was I thinking? What the hell was I thinking? I was just a clown. What a weird thing to pick up on today. I was a total clown. Alright. Let's see. So what can we expect from this relationship? 
um, till the next time we meet, which is Tuesday. What can we expect? He's going to be sneaking off <laughs> to parts unknown <laughs> or parts unknown to the comic, but he's going to be sneaking off. Not only that, he's going to be bringing an end to any deceptive behavior, especially any sort of self-deception, because this is what I'm seeing here. He's going to be bringing an end to that. He's going to be reviewing any sort of deceptive behavior that existed in this relationship. Also getting the message that this could actually be the, the comic, actually. Yes, this is a comic. She's going to try some shit. Some last minute crap she's going to do. Some last minute crap. You know, um, this in the Psychic Tarot says, um, Envy. Envy and, I think envy and jealousy or something like that. So it could be this um, represents a comic and her jealousy. But I'm getting stronger today. She's going to try some last minute shit, honestly. Some kind of last minute nonsense she's going to do. That's why I'm telling you guys, protect your union. Queen of fire, you're being called. Yeah. He's going to be cutting her out. And that's the queen of swords. Harsh words, truth are going to be spoken again. And then he's going to wield that sword and cut her out. Whatever ties that bind, he is going to cut those cords. Whether these may be spiritual ties, whether they are legal ties, he's going to wield his sword. What else? What's the last card? What's the last card for this reading? Yeah, so be aware she's gonna try some last minute crap i'm really getting that message heavily also getting a message she may have been stealing funds from him as well one last card please spirit may we have one more card let's see what's up yeah and then the wheel is going to turn in his favor. We have the wheel of fortune in the upright. The wheel is going to turn in its favor, finally. And this will signal the end of this particular cycle. Okay? So that's what we have in the karmic relationship. Things wrapping up, wheel of fortune turning in his favor. He is sitting on his throne. Okay? Alrighty, so that was the karmic relationship, guys. Let's now get into the Divine Union. <clears throat> As I told you, I'm using new cards. And these cards were actually donated by Cindy. And you guys will remember Cindy because you gave her so much love the last time. I'm looking for, ah, there it is. Okay. Yeah. Um, Cindy's the one that um, bought us the Art of Love um, tarot deck. That lovely set of gorgeous cards. You know the one that says five of angels, whatever, whatever. Right. So she gave us this one. And then she also bought us um, the Thelema Tarot, which is a gorgeous, gorgeous deck. So we're going to be using this today. Okay. Please um, continue to send your prayers to her. Um, she lost someone close to her. You know, I didn't ask her if I should reveal any details. So I'm, I'm going to tread very carefully because I do want her to get your positive energy and get your positive vibes. Um, she lost someone very close to her, someone very close to her past. So please, um, again, lift her up in your prayers, lift her up in your vibration, send a light, send a loving energy because everybody needs the support they can get in these times where we are in grief, okay? So, please remember her when you're saying your meditations, your prayers. Please lift up, do that visualization, and really, you know, just, just be that little buffer for her. Okay? She's a lovely, lovely, lovely lady. Lovely lady. Okay? So, just, uh, just keep on your thoughts. Lovely. And I think, you know, our community has done so well in supporting each other. I just want us to continue with that, okay? I, I was just absolutely touched 
by the abhorrent of love to Cindy in the first instance that I asked, then to MS, and now please remember MS and Cindy today. Thank you. Because we, we will all go through some sort of trial and we would always want the support of others, okay? Lovely. All right, so the divine union. So when the masculine thinks about his DF, why is he thinking about her and their union? These are great cards. They just shuffle like butter, butter baby. Uh, came out sideways. Oh yeah. He is thinking about commitment and a high level of commitment, marriage, some kind of commitment ceremony, that kind of thing. This is what he's thinking about today. He knows that this commitment, um, this divine union is something that is blessed by the divine because on these cards, and I, this is why I tape this in the morning because I really want to see these cards, but I have too much light and issues. I'm so sorry. Yeah, but on these cards, um, on top of the, t the four wands is um, two doves. And doves always represent, you know, traditionally represent the Holy Spirit, the divine. So this is something that's blessed by the universe. He's f in full recognition of that right now. So we have fire energy being featured there. Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. That's what's on his mind. All right, let's get another card. What's on his mind? When he thinks of this union, what's on his mind? What is on his mind? Gosh, these cards just shuffle so well. Love it. Ooh. This is death in reverse. I'm getting to two messages here. Just a second. Mm -hmm. there's you know i wish you could see this card because there is the figure of death behind the figure of death is a white horse and then there's also a scorpion so you definitely scorpio energy here now death usually means transformation what i'm getting today with it in reverse there has been some delay in his total transformation or a delay in him being able to transform this relationship into the committed relationship that he really wants it to be i told you these comics are trying some last minute shit some last minute crap there has been a delay there is a delay so if you and your masculine, you were having a little conversation, he was coming around, blah, blah, blah. And then all of a sudden, bam, there's been a pullback. There's been a delay. You have to intensify your queen of fire activities. There's been a delay. It's a Scorpio energy there. There's been a delay in him being transformed, in transforming his energy. There's been a delay. Listen, you can't make this shit up. What was the third card we got in the comic on his mind? High Priestess, his feminine, his DF, and here she is again in the same position in the Divine Union. So what is on his mind? His DF. And he's in full recognition of all your spiritual power. He is in full recognition of it. He knows that you are very much a divine being, that you're very powerful, and he's feeling you on a very psychic level. His intuition is picking up on your vibration in a very, very strong way. Let's see in his heart space what's happening. Nine of Wands. He is tired. Oh, so we have Scorpio energy here again with High Priestess. Um, Pisces energy, that's traditionally what's associated with, but I'm also putting the associations of Taurus and Virgo because of the the unique characteristics um, Virgo and Taurus have. Well, in my mind, every reader reads differently. But High Priestess, for me, Scorpio, Pisces, Virgo especially. 
because they always have access to behind the veil and the Taurus sil the silence of her the silence of her right so we have nine of wands in his heart he's battered he's bruised but he's still going to fight for this relationship because he sees the potential in this card and I'm sorry you can't see it there's a nine of wands upright a man is crouching down and on of one of the wands this green verdant plant is growing so he sees the potential of this plant this relationship to be incredibly fruitful for it to be a fruit and for it to be to come alive and that's what he's fighting for let's see what else is in his heart <coughs> What else is in his heart today? I love these cards. Okay. In his heart today, Ace of Pentacles. He's thinking about what he has to offer in the material world. And he's ready to offer it to his high priestess. That's what he's thinking. Now, in this card, there's a big disc um, symbolizing you know the, the the ace of pentacles and that the, and there's a gate that he must walk through in order to to offer this he has not walked through that gate as yet but the gate is wide open he's being guided to offer this but he's not offering this yet and this comes right under that delay in transformation card there has been some delay but in his heart he knows he has to offer this to his pri high priestess there's been a delay all right, let's see what else is in his heart what else is in his heart guys may we have one more card for it all right thank you okay five of cups in reverse that's nice that's nice energy you see when you're in five of cups you're not really thinking you're not processing your emotions properly you're thinking about all that was what could have been coulda shoulda woulda that kind of thing and you're not focused on how the situation can be saved so when we have five of cups in reverse now it means that he's exploring possibilities he's coming out of this energy of what could have been and is now about to manifest what he wants okay so with these energies happening here what are some of the blockages in this relationship we're going to get three cards what are the blockages the blockages are things are falling apart <laughs> oh my goodness okay but a card did fly out what are the blockages seven of pentacles in reverse he's not able to invest in this relationship at this time and i really do think it's because of the delay um seven of pentacles i always interpret as investment it could be that there were some investments that he made with the karmic that weren't actualized and this is um, impacting on his ability or his confidence to come forward i'm getting that message as well Because um, our masculines have suffered a lot of losses. Remember, all that glitters isn't gold. All right, let's see what else is going on here. What else is happening? What else is blocking this relationship right about now? Justice. Justice is blocking this relationship. Some of the masculines have not discharged their karmic debt. It could be that some of them are facing the justice system. I am getting that. They may be um, incarcerated or something like that. Um, they may be facing any kind of legal issues with their karmic. Getting that heavily. Maybe they had investments to get a house, business, that kind of thing. This is being sorted out right now. But for a lot of them, they have not fully discharged their karma. So that's still ongoing. The scales of justice are being weighed. Will it be weighed in their favor? We'll see. One more card, please, Spirit. Blockages. All right, let's see what this is. Ooh. A queen of fire is blocking this relationship. 
listen guys you see when I see a queen of fire a queen of spirit blocking the relationship this talks to me not just about the karmic but somebody it could be the karmic or somebody um, near to the karmic or somebody employed by the karmic um, is doing a magic spell work a queen of fire is blocking this relationship this is spell work somebody's harnessing energies of the universe to block this blood magic I'm very much um, drawn to the red on this blood magic go and do some research guys blood magic and if you need a clearing to be done you contact Charlotte at happy twins because you will know um, if you are having issues in that sort of realm because you know what you won't be able to feel well for me you won't be able to feel your masculine like you used to you will know if this is being done but for some of you there is work being done in the spiritual realm to block this contact Charlotte at happy twin she does spirit release work she's good trust me so if you think that something is off you're not having the amount of dreams that you usually have about your DM you can't feel him you can't even feel his sexual energy something is up because you always feel the sexual energy if you're not feeling that something is up all right so what can we expect would be his actions towards you till the next time we meet which is tuesday what can we expect and guys sometimes my videos cut off around this time so if they do know that there will always be um a part two Unless, of course, I just have one more pile to go through, then it probably won't be a part two. I'll put it in the description. All right, so let's see. Ooh. Um, he's still not going to come forward to communicate. There's been a delay, and this delay is up here, and it is this queen of fire that's blocking. There's been a delay in communication. He wants to, but it's not going to come in as yet um we have page of pentacles in reverse he is not confident that you are going to accept what he has to offer in fact some of them some of them may not have anything to offer at this time because it's falling right on the justice card so he may not think that he has enough to offer you financially and you know once they think that they don't have enough to offer you financially then they don't feel confident and they don't come forward some silly guys you know we're not interested in their money they think we are the comics we are not we're not interested in their money we're interested in their soul but he's still programmed because of his relationship with the comic and his social upbringing so he's thinking he's still thinking i must have all this money to offer to my dear i have my own fucking money i need your money all right one more card what would be his actions towards you till the next time we meet spirit may we have one more card please thank you one more card all right let's see what's going on what's this Ooh. seven of wands he's going to be doing battle in this card there is a oh what the fuck okay not just doing battle he's going to be doing spiritual battle in this card there is six of six wands guarding someone's house guarding a gate guarding a temple some spiritual home and there's a figure a woman so I'm getting two messages here the figure is a woman and she's holding a staff of fire right by the doorway she's ready to defend her home 
So this is what he's going to be doing. He's going to be defending this relationship. But what I'm also getting is back to my first thing that I said with this video. You have to defend your union because I'm very struck by um, this woman. She is dressed like how we traditionally um, think of, which is a kind of black coke over her head, whatever. Her face is very beautiful. You know, it's a woman of power. So I'm getting the message that you need to step into high priestess energy. I told you this. And you have to defend your union. But he is also going to be defending the union spiritually as well. This is a seven of wands. It's a spiritual drive to defend the union. Defending the union in the spiritual realm. And it falls right on top of that queen of fire that is blocking. He's going to be defending the union from her getting that very strongly okay guys and then we have another deck that was donated by another subscriber and it's the decameron tarot and it's an erotic tarot um so i'm adding a new segment <laughs> what are the divine masculines um fantasies about you so we're just going to take three cards then we're going to get the messages from his higher self and then we're just going to close off this reading right all right so today, so we meet again, what are his fantasies? Because we know he fantasizes. Yes, we know. What are his fantasies about you? You're going to get three cards. Let me shuffle them this way and see if it makes a difference. Nah. This one likes it rough. <laughs> Let's see. Ooh. Oh yeah. <laughs> what the fuck is that? And we have the justice card. So let's get another card. What's this? Okay. Whoa. So we've got four. Loads of fantasies. All right, let's see what this is. Good Lord. And this. Fuck. All right. Um, <laughs> I am so sorry that the lighting is so off today. Gosh. Ja. Anyway, hopefully you see this partially. So this is a woman blindfolded. And she has binding around her waist as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he likes the kinky shit. Um, really, um, BDSM shit like that. He wants to have you blindfolded, take you from behind. Supplication. Also, getting the um, idea here for some of you, he likes plus size women. Because one of the women on the scale, she's very much plus size. And he's there on the other scale, just watching and, you know, um, jacking off. So, getting two messages here. He likes that kinky shit, likes you in supplication. But also, he just likes watching you. Watching you play with yourself and jacking off and getting that very heavily and getting that vibe. This image here now, there is a woman and it's another plus size woman. Somebody fleshy. Um, even if you're not fleshy, it means that you're like, you're generous with your love making. Like you're not selfish. You're generous like generous portions so you're generous with your love making and it is a woman and she is on a table and he's eating from a bowl he's naked she's naked he's in a chair she's on the table so he has some kind of um dinner table fantasy where he's just eating you up just going to town he's not even budding with utensils he's just in there there's juice falling all over his lap and he's just in there. Jeez. 
this one there um fucking on a counter he's taking her from behind and she has a mirror and she's watching you know um the parts go in and out so um it's about having sex with you on a counter but you know maybe in front of a mirror or something like that where he can see everything that's happening good lord and then the last card 69 buddy 69 with you on top he likes for you to be in charge he likes that he sees you as very fiery very passionate lover there might even be food involved because of the wine glass here um, that's kind of balanced upon her uh, her ass so it could be you have um, generous po um, proportions in your ass as well. He likes that. And he likes to see um, you in that kind of um, doggy style position. Because in, in three of the four cards, this woman is in doggy style. So he likes that kind of hitting from the back kind of action. Okay. A nasty little boy. Anyway. <laughs> Alrighty then. So let's get some messages from his higher self. <laughs> After apparently we've gotten some messages from his lower self. <laughs> let's see what his higher self has to say today to us. Oh my gosh. What does his higher self have to say? We're going to take three cards. Three cards. Come on, baby. You need to talk. Last time my video cut off right here. You need to talk before my video cuts off. Okay. Right. One, <laughs> two, three. All right, let's see. First card. First thing he wants to know. You are his empress. You are his empress and his eyes are on you. His eyes are on the prize. He's thinking about you always. And we saw that with high priestess energy. He wants to tell you this is all new to me and he is feeling overwhelmed this is all new to me and i'm feeling overwhelmed i think the intensity of this connection really scares him and even though it didn't come out as part of the blockage it's always there it's always there it it, it feels like if he's, he's given up part of himself it's like he, he can't break free from this bond and he doesn't like that feeling it, because you know it makes him feel trapped it's like he can't move on he can't be with anyone else he can't fully be with anyone else and that really really you know it scares him and the the other thing i'm I, the other message that we got is i'm working on my inner issues and we also got this card the last every time that we use this deck we always get inner issues or or taking that inner journey and this is so important for him to do him doing his shadow work and really seeing his authentic self because he's not seen his authentic self in such a long time maybe not since childhood so he's working on his inner issues and this is a very important process for him to really come into his full divinity so you know he's really doing some really good work he's doing some good work he's he recognizes you as the empress and he's also working on being in his emperor energy he's finally stepping into that he's feeling a bit overwhelmed but that's not stopping him from doing his inner work and that's exactly where we need him to be to be working on himself and learning to love himself just like how you learn to love yourself and nobody rushed you to do that you took your time so give him the time that he needs you don't have to wait on him you live your life focus on your mission right but he's definitely he's he's doing the work never doubt it he's doing the work okay so guys this is dm download and i hope that you enjoyed it and we're just gonna go out to the song of our soca music and i want you to have a great day today okay it's a wonderful day get outside if you can if not watch some great movie and just love yourself all right all right guys till tuesday <laughs>